Well, homeowners on Pensacola Beach have long complained they're essentially being double taxed, paying both property taxes and lease fees. Florida Senator Marco Rubio and Congressman Representative Jeff Miller have introduced new legislation to give homeowners and businesses on Santa Rosa Island the option of getting the title to their land. Channel 3's Comante Small is live from the island, breaking down what that legislation could mean. You're absolutely right, right about that, Lena. Basically, basically, uh, a lot of the people on the beach, they tell me that they are being taxed twice. They're having to pay those lease fees as well as they're having to pay those property taxes. But this bill that was proposed this week could change that. This is the view Dave Kessler gets to see often on Pensacola Beach. He's owned beach property for 25 years. It may be paradise, but it comes with a cost. Well, it's been fine until... Uh... They came in with the edict that we need to pay taxes on top of our lease fees and municipal service benefit units and on and on. Ownership of Santa Rosa Island has changed hands several times between local counties and the federal government. In 1947, the federal government transferred ownership of the island to Escambia County. As part of the agreement, the county could not sell any of the land. Instead, the land has been leased to home and business owners. Leaseholders have been paying lease fees and a land and improvement tax. The bill would allow leaseholders the opportunity to attain the title to their land. Escambia County Commissioner Grover Robertson says this could also open the door to canceling the lease fee. I think it'll be better in the long run that uh, we have control of the property and uh, uh, take it away from the SRIA. Mary Williams also lives on Pensacola Beach. She's not as sold on the new bill. Her position weighs largely on the benefits the improvement tax has had on the island. It uh, helps pay for things out here like bringing in the Blue Angels and a lot of other things that it does to improve the island. The bill would keep public beach access, keep restrictions on conservation areas, and it keeps Gulf Islands National Seashore intact. And back here live, and back here live, now that bill still has a long way to go before we'll know whether or not it will pass. We'll continue to follow the story. But I'm reporting live on Pensacola Beach, Cavante Smalls, Channel 3 News.